All right, we are on an adventure, a foodie adventure today down in Denver. We're going to the National Western Monster Stock Monster Show Monster Hall. Well, he's got his monster truck. Why wouldn't he? <laughs> so we are actually going to the Denver Nourish Festival. Um, this used to be the um, gluten-free and allergy um, friendly expo and they changed it to the Denver Nourish Festival um, So it used to be kind of more gluten-free based, but now they've actually added five different dietary so they have um, gluten-free nut-free paleo keto and plant-based diet Areas at the expo this year. So as you probably know from watching our vlogs Mark and I both have quite a few food allergies um, I am gluten-free and I have a peanut allergy so those are kind of the two big ones that I try and avoid I try not to do as much dairy um, but I have ever since being pregnant um, just done more dairy and then Mark has a corn allergy a dairy intolerance um, and then a wheat allergy so between the two of us we've got all the bases covered so um, this is a really cool event we came a couple of years ago when it was just the gluten-free expo but we're excited to go today and see even more things so let's go check it out Trick or treating? Yeah, what do you say? Trick or treat! This is the first zone and it is a nut free zone, so everything that is red here is all nut free vendors. And everything here is gluten free as well. So they all have these little cards that tells you what might be in them. This is one of my favorite gluten free treats, and they actually have these in King Supers, so our main grocery store here. Um, as well as a lot of other places, but these are so good. So if you're gluten-free and you can have dairy, you should definitely try these. They are delicious. <laughs> All right, so this is New Planet Brewery, and they've been around for about 10 years. They used to be down in Boulder, and they've moved on to Denver now, and they actually brew two 100% gluten-free beers, both of which are great. Um, and then they do have some gluten removed beers as well. But really, really great if you are gluten free and you still want a nice beer. Both their um, pale and blonde air are very, very good. So give them a try. All right, so this is 88 Acres, a seed company, and they have some really unique stuff. They actually have lots of different seed butters. They have ones that are made with sunflower, but they also have ones made with watermelon or pumpkin, and then they also have seed bars. Um, he said they're based out of Boston, so they're not distributing um, out here as much yet, but they do sell online. And I tried their pumpkin seed butter, and it was fantastic. I have a sunflower seed allergy um, so it's really cool to see a different kind of nut butter that's not just almond butter but it's some different things to try so that was really really yummy so give them a try right. so there is a plant-based and a keto paleo zone so we're gonna go check these guys out um, we are not plant-based um, but a lot of the paleo stuff does work for us because um, it works with dairy-free and gluten-free so we're gonna go check that out all right so this is Zevia um, and it is a zero calorie, um, no sugar sweetened. They have teas, they have mixers, they have sodas. So Mark's gonna give their um, Earl Grey blood orange tea here a try. It's a sweet tea. I actually have a black and green tea allergy, so not something I could drink. How is it? It's actually really good. Really good? Yeah, and then we grabbed one of their ginger beers to try too for the summer to make some cocktails with. So we'll see if that's a good mixer for some mules. All right, so this is Sarah's Cosmic Cookie Dough, 
and they're shelf stable and they're just quick little cookies on the go. So we're actually gonna pick up two of these. Um, we're gonna try the oatmeal and the chocolate chip. They were very delicious <laughs> and they're gluten friendly and dairy friendly and nut friendly and corn friendly. So this is an awesome little treat and they're shelf stable for how long did you say Mark? Uh, four five to days. Five days? Five days yep. So we got four to five days shelf stable and then they do have individuals as well. So we're gonna give these a try. We just tried these Polidori sausages. They are locally made here in Colorado down in Denver and they're sold in all the King Supers and Safeways and it was super delicious. It's all natural and gluten free. And they have a bratwurst, a spicy Italian and a chorizo. And it was really, really good. All right, grape soda, grape soda. caffeine free. Tastes like tiny top. <laughs> so bad. Did you like it? <laughs> we just tried these farm wise. Um, we actually tried their um, chicken veggie nuggets, and they have white beans, carrots, and um, broccoli in them and it was really 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 good and Wally loves chicken nuggets and he's not a great eater so getting him to eat veggies is amazing and these were really delicious so we are going to try these for sure it looks like right now they only have them at Lucky's Market which we just got one of those in Fort Collins so excited to give those a try what do you think of that chicken nugget was that good chicken nugget yeah you got your soda and chicky nuggies that's so good, huh? Yummy. We just tried these ancient grain kapop super snacks and we ended up buying a whole variety of them. Um, the salt and vinegar and the dairy-free cheddar were amazing. It really tasted like like a Cheeto, like it was really, really good. Um, you'd think like it's, yeah, you'd think it'd just be like a kind of rice cake, but it was really, really good and it's a great little snack to have on the go. So excited to give these a try. Right, we found these delicious spices from Big T Spice Co. He is based in New Mexico. He has all kinds of delicious blends. We're actually gonna try the swine grind, which he said is good for both pork and chicken. And because I have lots of weird uh, seasoning allergies like celery, um, we can actually have it 100% both of us. So I'm really, really excited to give that one a try. So um, check out Big T Spice Co. So one, one thing about this one, it was a little bit sweeter uh, than a usual spice um, and it had, because it has a honey powder, sugar and honey in it. So. Yeah, I thought that was really unique, the honey powder. And it has yeah. turmeric, which I really like. Turmeric is like a great spice um, just for the flavor, but also for your gut. It's actually really, really good. It's a good um, cleansing spice. So excited to try them. And I forgot to mention, too, that if you order online, he said if you order $30 or more in spices, shipping is free. So it's a good deal. All right, so this is Ghost Fish Brewery. They're based out of Seattle. Um, and they've just been distributing in Colorado for about a year. But they have um, six different like flagship beers that they serve. Um, they are all gluten-free and for Mark, they are corn free, so he can actually have them. Um, super, super, super delicious. Um, I tried their, um, oh my gosh, what was it called? The Shrouded Summit, which is a Belgian white, um, and it was really good. It's a lot like a like sunshine wheat. And uh, Mark tried their Kickstep IPA, um, which is a nice, um, super happy. IPA, so he's really, really happy about that. He loves hoppy beers, so excited to find a true gluten-free beer that he can have that is hoppy and delicious. So we're excited to give these guys a try. All right, so we just gave these a try. It's called Primal Nums, and it's a um, paleo, gluten-free, friendly, and I think even, yeah, keto, yep, keto-friendly um, mug cake. So it's really good. We tried the chocolate, the mocha, and the lemon poppy seed, and we're gonna take some of those home with us as well. And even this guy right here. Do you like it? He liked it yeah. too. Was that yummy, Wally? Should we go make some chocolate cake? Yeah. All right, this was a major win. Sauce Goddess right here has some delicious barbecue sauce that we can both have. No corn syrup. Yeah, which is super exciting and hard to find. And it's all good for my allergies too. So we're super excited. We're gonna try their sticky sweet. And it was the last one. 
It was just waiting for us. So we're super excited. And they're local? Uh, these guys aren't. Okay. But his, his, his other firm is. Okay, cool. I told this guy that there was dinosaurs behind the curtain and that he couldn't go back there because they would eat him. Which was the wrong thing because he's already been around real life dinosaurs. Yeah, now he wants to go see the dinosaurs. So, whoops, hashtag parenting fail. Right, we just gave Snoozy's grain-free muffins a try. We tried their coffee cake and chocolate and they were both really, really, really good. Um, this guy especially likes the chocolate. Huh, buddy? Is it good? And they're good for all of our allergies. They're gluten-free, corn-free, and peanut-free. So super excited. We just tried this Casa El Verres chili verde con pork. Delicious. It comes frozen. Yeah, so this is a green chili. Yes. And with pork. And it's really good. And they have a veggie, too. They have a vegetable one as well. But it's really good. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Delicious. And this guy right here kept turning on and off their crock pots. So he's not welcome. All right, we just tried um, Moulet's sausages. Um, they have them at Natural Grocers. And uh, we picked up a recipe card for this delectable thing right here. It's chicken wrapped in sausage wrapped in bacon. So that sounds pretty awesome. But yeah, these guys are great. It's really, really good. They have meatballs, all kinds of different sausages and varying spices, and just really, really good. So they were here the last time we came to this too, and they are delicious. Right, so this is Outrageous Baking. They have amazing gluten-free breads, and if you've been watching our vlog for a while and you've seen our Christmas vlogs, you know that I actually use their cherry chocolate chip bread for our Christmas Eve bread pudding, and they are local here, based out of Boulder. They are delicious actually one of our favorite places, Canyon Bakehouse. They are in Loveland, which is right by us, and they have the best gluten-free bread and bagels and hamburger buns. Um, looks like they have English muffins now, so really, really good stuff. If you are gluten-free and you need a good gluten-free bread, these guys are the best. All right, so we're giving the So Delicious to try, and they have these new oat milk. We're trying the uh, caramel apple crumble and the oatmeal cookie. And it's super yummy, huh, Wally? Do you like here it? Go, here we go. Yeah? Mmm. Mm, do you approve? Is it good? We just tried these petite pots, and they're really, really good. They have them at Whole Foods, Natural Grocers, and I guess Walmart now, too. And Wally really, really liked the chocolate, and we took a couple of the um, rice puddings to try as well. So those were really good. We can all have them, and they're delicious. So we're happy about that. All right, we just tried Victoria's Gluten Free Kitchen. Mark has had this before at a restaurant in Loveland. And it's really, really good. It's actually a pizza crust you can have. They have some dairy-free options, which is really nice. And really, really good. All right, we just tried Alexia's gluten-free. And they have all these amazing cookies that Mark can have. And this guy really likes their chocolate chunk cookie. They have breadcrumbs and croutons and all kinds of good stuff. But we tried their almond horns. And if you're from Iowa and you've had a Dutch letter, it is a gluten-free Dutch letter. So good. Amazing. All right, one last sample as we head out for the day. Enjoy life. We love these. We get these all the time at home. They're great because they are free from 14 allergens and they have all kinds of yummy different things to try. So. Last sample for the day. Oh, and these Enjoy Life mini chips are my absolute favorite for baking. They're amazing. All right, I lied. I had to make one more stop at Mom's Place Gluten-Free because they had oatmeal scotchies, which are my favorite cookie. And I found some crescent roll mix that Mark can have too. So pretty excited to give this a try. They have all kinds of amazing mixes for baked goods and breads and soups and all kinds of good things. So excited. All right, well, we were just on our way out. And we found Joanna Banana, which is an awesome book that teaches you about having food allergies. And we met Megan here, who's actually the author of the book. I am the author. So, yeah, so we're really excited for Wally to read about Joanna Banana, huh? 
you want to talk about how you wrote the book? Yeah. yeah. So I'm a speech pathologist, and I cook for a lot of people who have different sorts of food allergies, semi keto, semi gluten. And I was really inspired to write this book when I read an article about how food allergies was becoming a new way that kids could bully other kids. So I wanted to write kind of a light, funny, easy to read book for all kinds of kids and their families. Yeah. yeah. Molly's okay, excited. He's excited. Hey! <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah. See ya. <laughs> All right. Well, we had a really good day today at the um, Denver Nourish Festival, um, formerly the Gluten Free Food Fair. Um, it was a great time. You can tell Wally had a good time because yeah. <laughs> he's got all kinds of samples okay. on his face. Close your mouth. <laughs> We had a really good time. We got to sample all kinds of really great stuff. Um, picked up a bunch of stuff for ourselves too, and it's just super fun because you learn about all kinds of new products that you didn't know about, um, see where they're sold, bring home all kinds of great samples and coupons, and get to meet a lot of really great people that are <laughs> working to great, create products for people with special dietary needs. So it's a great time if you live in the Denver metro area and you can make it out. Definitely come check this event out. Um, and yeah, go check out some of the products that we highlighted throughout the vlog and let us know if you have any food allergies. It's, it's a challenge for sure, but it's great to live in a world where they have all kinds of options now. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is the wonderful world of Walter. And we love you just the way you are. Bye. 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 All right, I know we already closed out the vlog, but now we're at home and we made dinner and it looks amazing, so I have to share it with you. All right, Mark made us some chicken with the swine grind seasoning and he stopped at Lark Burger, one of our favorite spots in Fort Collins, and picked up their new gluten-free pickles and gluten-free onion rings and he went and grabbed a couple of the gluten-free beers that we had tried today. So we are super excited to dig in to this meal. Now, you know, so we talked a little bit about Lark Burger just now. Um, they have recently introduced the gluten-free pickles, the gluten-free onion rings, and their entire facility is gluten-free on their fryers. Uh, because their fries are gluten-free and that's the only thing they fry. So you don't have to worry about cross-contamination there at all. The only gluten they have in their restaurant is on their hamburger buns. Um, but also, everyone who is gluten-free now, uh, you need to be really thankful because I've been um, unable to eat wheat since, 2000, or since 1998, actually. So 20-plus um, years. And to have an entire meal like this that is gluten-friendly, wheat-friendly, corn-friendly. This is amazing. I am I'm extremely blessed and happy right now. So uh, welcome to the gluten-free world.